Question five. Um, let's consider the effects of inflation in an economy composed by composed of only two people: Bob, a bean farmer, and Rice, uh, and Rita, a rice farmer. So we first write down their names here. So Bob, who sells bean, and Rita, who who sells rice. We know that in 2016, the price of beans is uh, one dollar, and the price of rice is three dollars. So we know that uh, the price ratio is one to three. So bean is more uh, is cheaper, and rice is more expensive. And both of them can consume equal amounts of rice and beans. So if they want to exchange. Bob has to bring like three bags of beans in exchange for one bag of rice because rice is uh, more expensive. Okay, so then we can answer question A, B, C because they are actually all the same question but with different numbers. So I'll just write it down A, B, C. So in all these three scenarios, they say that in 2017, which is a year after, the price has changed. So for question A, the price of beans has changed to 2, while the price of rice has changed to 6. And question B is like 2 for beans and uh, 4 for rice. And then here, the same is 2 for beans and then uh, 1.5 for rice. So the first step is that we have to calculate the ratio to simplify this number so that we can compare, right? So in 2016, it's 1 to 3, the price ratio. And in uh, question A, it is also 1 to 3. So we need three bags of beans in exchange for one bag of rice. While in uh, question B, it is 1 to 2. So we need, so uh, the rice is two dollars a bag and the bean is one dollar a bag so we need two bags of beans in exchange for one bag of rice and then for question c it's like uh four to three so if i make it all like one to something it's gonna be one to zero point seven five all right uh and for all these sub questions we have to answer what is the inflation so I will write inflation in color blue. So from 2016 to 17, the inflation in question A for beans is like 100%. Because how, how I calculate this 100% is like the price now divided by uh, the price before, uh, minus the price di before divided by the price before. So it is 1 which is a hundred so it is all a hundred here because one to two one to two one to two so all 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 numbers here are a hundred percent inflation while for rice the inflation is like three to six so if we, we recalculate it, it it is three minus uh, six minus three divided by three which also equals to one so it is 100% in this scenario, while um, in question B, from 3 to 4, it is, uh, again, 4 minus 3 divided by 3. So it is going to be uh, like 30, excuse me, it is too big, it's like 33% increase the price increases by 33 percent while from 3 to 1.5 the price decreased by 50 percent so the relative price is the ratio we calculated here and the inflation is the blue numbers i calculated here um, remember you have to add this minus sign in in front of it because the price decreased so it is like a deflation so then we can further answer the question 
um, what happened to Bob and Rita. So here, Bob, again, I said that Bob has to take three bags of beans in exchange for one bag of rice. In question A, it is the same scenario. Bob also has to take three bags of beans in exchange for one bag of rice. So in this case, no one is better off or um, worse off. Well, in question B, Bob right now only has to take two bags of beans in exchange for one bag of rice. So Bob is better off. So Bob is happy because now relatively what he grows is um, relatively more valuable than what it used to be. While in Rita, her good is becoming cheaper. So Rita is worse off. So Rita is not happy. While in this case, now Bob only has to bring 0 0.75 bags of bean in exchange for one bag of rice. So Bob is even happier in this case because he is bringing fewer and fewer beans in exchange for the rice he needs. So he's very happy. Well, Rita is like really sad. So we can compare these three scenarios and answer question D, which is that it is the relatively uh, it is the relative price that matters not the um, inflation itself relative pr relative price okay so the key to this question is that because they both consume uh, both type types of goods so they need to eat the the what other people grows uh, in order to survive so the relative price is uh, more important under this type of question 